And when Santa squeezes his fat white ass down that chimney tonight, he's gonna find the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house. You're goofy. Don't piss me off, Art. Clark? It's over. Not according to Santa's watch, it isn't. Bricks up, chrome pipes. Bricks up, chrome bricks up, chrome pipes. All right, so today we're gonna be tackling the last feature for my wireless controller that I have. Um, the last feature will be set up for a remote air out for the vehicle. I got an adapter harness from AccuAir to just plug right in and then hook it up to a negative uh, signal. And they do have options for position one, two, and three, but I'm only utilizing the one to air it out since my other positions on the wireless controller are taken up by other things. And I don't really care about putting it to ride height before I get to the car. For this AccuAir thing to work, it needs negative input when the system is not in use. Therefore, I need to keep power going to the wireless controller that I have in order to utilize that for the remote air out. So I'll show you the parts and then we'll get into it and hopefully wrap up the rest of that wiring in the back and clean it up so it's no longer looking like a mess of wires. So before we start here, we got the basic supplies that we need. Relay here, key, my favorite set of wire strippers, some Tessa tape. This is the interior cloth style non-insulated butt connectors. I prefer these because there's a, you know, they're a little bit more sleek and slim once they're finally installed. We have the adapter harness from AccuAir. Some heat shrink. And some wire strippers. Pretty basic. Now let's get to the car and get this going. Now, as I showed you in a previous video, this was looking a little bit like a mess, but hopefully by the end of this, it'll all be cleaned up and looking a lot better. Down here, we have all the wiring for this wireless air out feature. That's why it's all taped together. I'm gonna be focusing over here first to wrap this all up before I take the bracket back up to plug in the adapter harness for the signal wire for this.
that we have the basics in place for where we want the wiring to go. Got it all hooked up to the wireless module there. Still need to heat shrink the ends of it there. I'm gonna do that after everything's, you know, ready to be wrapped. There's a lot of zip ties and that's just to hold it in place until I'm ready to wrap it. When I wrap it, I will cut off the zip ties and only leave the ones that are necessary. Uh, areas where I can't pull the clips out or, you know, things like that. I'm gonna try to wrap as much as humanly possible. So this still isn't finalized with the wrapping of the wires, etc. Still gotta heat shrink down some stuff, but it's all more or less in the place that it needs to be. I gotta put a relay in here still to convert the positive signal to a negative signal for the AccuWare. So next we're gonna get this wire routed underneath here and hook up the adapter. So I realized while I was editing that I never fully explained what I did with the wiring as far as the wireless air out went. Um, I didn't end up wrapping the wires. I decided that I need to add a little bit more to make it function the way I really want it to. Um, like I said, for the AccuWear to work, to air out on the remote, it needs to have a constant power source going to the wireless controller. I don't want to have a constant power going to that all the time because the only function out of those four that needs that when the car is off is for airing out. Since that's only gonna be used for shows and stuff like that, I think I'm gonna hook up a relay so I can have a switch and have it be under regular operation just hooked up to a switch power where my other functions work when I want it to with the wireless remote. And then if I get to a show or someplace where I want to actually use the wireless air out function, I can just flip a switch and then it will work. And then I can switch it back and not drain my battery. So anyways, that's a little explanation of what I ended up doing, why I didn't end up wrapping up all the wires and tidying that all up. I'm gonna do that probably off camera because it's just wrapping some wires with tape. Nothing too exciting, but uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll have more coming out soon. Thanks. Takes one skip to trip. One skip, one skip, one skip. Yo, one skip, what the fuck, one skip. Man? You are fucking up, bro. Get it together, man. Get your shit together. Come on.